Hey, it's the water. Hello. <laughs> so here we go. Our second informative video. I mean, other videos are informative. That is true. That is true. But this is focused on information this that is you guys. Not a vlog. No, 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 no. Okay. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So, the first one, if you haven't seen it, you've seen How it, right? Do we afford it? Yeah. The second most asked question is what about the kids? What are you going to do for school? Yeah. So, what we do with the kids is call world schooling slash unschooling. We don't do homeschooling. So there is a difference between the three, okay? Seriously? Four kids all the time, that's how you do it. Okay, so. Okay, well, let's start out, well, let's start out. Her eyes are so pretty, sorry. <laughs> let's start out what we were doing before we started traveling, mm, school-wise. The kids were actually going to school full time. Makai was in uh, high school. He was a freshman, right? And then um, the girls, they were in dual language immersion program in uh, Washington State, hearing 80% uh, Spanish and 20% English. Yeah, it was actually an awesome program. It was. It Makai, really was. The, the school district otherwise, unfortunately. Not too good. Yeah, not, not very too good. Now what we do is we um, do a world schooling and unschooling. But we had to de-school them first. And our okay. <laughs> Yeah, definitely me. I definitely had to de-school myself because when I started to do... I'm more whole, of a hippie than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really understand the whole concept. So she came to me and said, you need to de-school yourself. I was like, what? De-school myself? I'm over there, you know, military trained. So I had it all squared away. We're going to go ahead and look at this part of math and this part of English and this part of history. Structure. And then we're going to go ahead and have... Like a, a test, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the week. And then, you know, I'll, I'll look at it and see how it goes. No, that's not it. That's basically the same thing as um, school or, or homeschooling. But there's something for everyone. So yes. don't get us wrong here. This is what we've discovered works awesome right now for us and for mm -hmm. our kids. And mm -hmm. we think that overall it seems pretty sweet for most people mm -hmm. if they choose it. Yeah. If you love structured school or if you love doing school at home, more power to you. That's Go awesome. For it. Go for Educate it. Do those what you kids. Do. Like, cool. After I de school myself with a couple of videos that my wife sent me and me sitting there watching and just some in the time. morning. Yeah, exactly. It was yeah. a lot of time, too. A lot of time. So. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. That um, wasn't our kids. That was our hostel host. That was our hostel host. Oh, he was dressed down, seriously. In his snakeskin outfit, mm -hmm. head to toe. I think it was kind of like a, a pajama because he's traveling. He's going to China or whatever. So he wants to be comfortable on that flight. You know what I mean? But okay. Anyway, anyway so get back to it. Oh, it? Okay, so. Basically, okay. okay, can we talk? I want to talk real quick. Okay, I know it's your turn to talk because everyone okay. said I talked too much in the last one. No, well, not too much, but just more than you. Um, So... Makai, mm. having gone through public school the longest, mm -hmm. still struggles with yeah. free learning. Mm -hmm. Like, being free to learn whatever he wants. But the first little bit was really hard on him. And so I just remember him being like, but learn what? And we're, yeah, that's another child. Sorry. Okay, so anyway. So Makai had the hardest time when we first were talking to him. We'd only been gone a few months and we were like, he's like, what do you mean learn anything? I'm like, learn anything. What are you interested in? What and he do I was do? like, he was like deer in headlights. Like seriously, he was just like, I'm like, are you interested in sign language, guitar, drum, computer programming, underwater basket weaving, horses, like what, anything. It's like it and had he's to just be like, seriously, like, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's like it had to be fed to him. You know yeah, he was used to being spoon fed, and yeah. he's like, "Just give me something to memorize, yep. so I can take a test and dump it." Because yeah. you know, which is kind of the conclusion we've come to with most public school in the mm -hmm. U.S. at least. Yeah, and there's good ones. Don't get me wrong, U.S. Don't jump down my throat. 
There's good programs within within some districts. Mm -hmm. There's some good districts. There's good and bad in everything. There's a lot of really not great ones, and the yeah. kids are being failed yeah. like miserably. Exactly. So, so. If we, let's just be honest so that we can like deal with it, because that's not right to have so much of our country being poorly educated. The world school then basically is kind of a uh, Tamara's uh, bread and butter. When we go to a new country, she'll look at kind of the thing to do or a, a, a a destination to go to and you know her and I might do the research on that area and then we educate the kids about it when we go to that place you know what I mean there's like signs there or what have you and there might not be signs there and we educate them about the, the background of the, of the uh, place that we are yeah we just read to. up on it on our own and then talk to them about it when we're actually there and mm -hmm. experiencing it firsthand yeah yeah like when we went to Dachau, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, and some things like that we pay for. Mm -hmm. And a, we have also find a lot of free things. And then you, when you get to... So he, he since I'm doing all the filming and editing and planning and yeah. travel planning and booking. <laughs> so he heads up the schooling. <laughs> um, so with the girls, what I do is... Um, so they wake up in the morning and, you know, we have a laptop. So what... I tell them to do is, I don't know if you ever heard of a TED Ed Talks. So TED Ed Talks is basically geared towards children as like little cartoon animation and same thing, <laughs> cartoon videos <laughs> and they watch and it's basically about different subjects like, you know, um, sometimes it's history, sometimes it's science, all different areas and there's questions at the end of those videos. So they have to watch two of those uh, each, okay? And then after uh, they do the TED Ed Talks, and they could do it in any order they want. They have to basically, because um, we want to keep them up with the Spanish. Yeah, so we, so he does still have some structure for them. So yeah. if it's a learning day, which typically is Monday to Friday, unless we're going out on a big world schooling adventure, then mm -hmm. they have some learning to do. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take them that long. I think, Tay, actually, it's probably time for us to sit down and kind of reassess. Increase it a little bit, yeah. Bump it up a little bit. But we don't want a full-on, like, curriculum and structure no, either, necessarily. No. So he does have some structure just to make sure they're getting some type different of. types of things in. But within those types, they can pick. They can pick the subject of the TED Ed they want to watch. They can, anyways. Yeah. So after the TED Ed, and like I said, they can do it in any order, I have them watch, um, because we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I have them watch two uh, spiritual uh, videos, and that could be from LDS.org, it could be uh, from um, BYU TV, it could be from any of those uh, different uh, outlets that they can uh, go ahead and watch. And also I have them watch a little motivation video like uh, Soul Pancake Kid President, he has a lot of good uh, videos there, or something that I might see that might motivate myself and I think it'll motivate my children I have them watch uh, too as well so I have them watch something motivational why because I mean we need to stay motivated you know what I mean sometimes For what okay I'm just playing with it <laughs> we <laughs> we have been trying ourselves to yes. listen or watch a motivational podcast or video read some self-development books basically just trying to keep elevating mm -hmm. just personally in life you know yeah so we're here to be our best versions of ourselves, so you need to constantly be working on that. So we're trying, because we're seeing the positive effects at 40-something. We Better late than never. Early 40s. <laughs> but we're trying to teach them now to start bringing those things into their mind and mm -hmm. learning and growing and making that a priority in life so that they can start even earlier and go even farther. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So. Um, then after the motivational, I uh, let me see because I always forget. Oh, we have um, math. They do a math of 30 minutes. Mental um, abuse towards humans. That's right, mental abuse <laughs> towards humans it is, but you have to do it. It's everything you do in life, you know what I mean? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Exactly. It's still important. Then after I uh, have them do math, I have them do um, a documentary. I have to watch two 30-minute documentaries. And it's funny, I mean, I utilize Netflix because they have certain shows that are geared towards um, education, like Liquid Science, um... Odd Squad, which I really didn't think was educational until I actually watched it. You know, it was a good documentary. And there's other documentaries out there, you know, but check out Netflix. You go ahead and see it, documentary section. It's great. It's cool. Um, let me think. They used to journal, but they haven't been doing that lately. They, we, we used to do journal, and, and, and we also have to read the scriptures. That's something to... Get that, to. Yeah, we, yeah exactly. We, we get to read the scriptures, which is something that 
is, is good for us. That, you Positive know, mental to, to have the armor of God on us at all times. Mm-hmm. Let me think. Of, I want to know if I'm not, not forgetting. Abby anything. also does oh, some so reading then, apps. Yeah, so Which ones do you like? I like the best is teach my monster how to read. You know, that is so cool because the kids, they get to make their own monster. Mm-hmm. Then after they make the monster, they take that monster that they made and they go on different journeys into different planets and they accumulate coins where they could get to buy little outfits for their monsters. And it actually just goes through the phonic sounds and after it goes through the phonic sounds, then goes to a different planet where you build up in different levels and you get to go through the words and stuff. And it's really been working out Kingston great. does that one too, Yeah, right? Kingston does it too, the... Um, Four-year-old, but then also... Hold on a sec. I don't know if that's going to make noise or not. Okay, that's not rocking. Okay, Kingston does that too. Yeah, and so it's, it's great for all ages. You know, he's been doing that, and it works out well. Taven just reads. Yeah, and Taven, she just goes Oh, and, and Spanish. Oh, yeah, so the Spanish, I forgot. That's what it was. Whew. So with the Spanish, since Aveline is started off at a lower level, what I do is I actually just have her watch uh, some of the Spanish... For kids, like 30 minute YouTube videos. She only had kindergarten in yeah, Spanish and before that was we it. moved. But you know. She picked up a lot of words talk. though. She did. She really did. That's impressed. So she watches that. And Taven, what I have her do, or um, what she gets to do, is she gets to watch either a 30 minute show in Spanish without the subtitles. Like any kind of <clears throat> show she's interested in. So yeah. she's watched like Mexican <laughs> Bake Off and. She loves Nailed it. Teeny the Bopper Mexican show. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's what it was. Yeah, not yeah. Bake Off. But then there's another one that she's been watching recently. And I don't know what it is. Anyway. As long as it's in Spanish. Yeah, and it's exactly. No subtitles. Show, or what happened is, is I've also actually had her write a story, like a paragraph in Spanish. Now, I might not be able to understand it, but at the same time, you let Google Translate. We're very adept at Google Translate. (laughs) And it it, it sounds great. I mean, she has the accent down pat, and it's really good. So she is still learning, and she still is improving each and every day with their skills. Yeah, we just didn't want her to lose that. No, no, that's something. And I definitely need to try to learn a second language myself, but it's tougher. Makai, Makai is a little different. He's 17. He got his basics in in school. And what I've come to really believe is you learn your basics. And after the basics, you remember what you're interested in. And the rest you memorize and then you dump it after you take the test. So um, we just, I do ask him to do some spiritual, but I think he kind of slacks on it. And then it's kind of whatever he's just really into at the time. He'll do a bunch of research on it, which right now is motorcycles. Yeah. Before it was animals. Yeah. He's gone through a few different things. And now it's motorcycles, which he's pretty interested in. And he kind of knows the engines and he knows the type from the sound. He's in heaven in Bangkok. Yeah, definitely. (sighs) Right now, the girls want to do their own YouTube channel. Yeah. And that's kind of learning on their own, you know. Right now, Taven is all in the pictures and stuff like that. And I know that she was looking at a logo and everything. And I was letting her do the editing and everything. So it's a lot of work. please so. let us know if she should Comment do below. that. Because, no, we're not kidding. <laughs> okay. Kidding. Please let us know because I feel weird doing that it's, it's, it's kind of scary. You know what I mean? We don't them. necessarily want them to have one. But then at the no. same time, it's fun. Memory. They're learning. It's fun for people to see it from their perspectives. Mm-hmm. And it is so much work. Mm-hmm. And I'm all about her taking on some work. Mm-hmm. Work. So that's work, the main work, yeah. reason. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, wait. Did we say I was about. I think we got. I was about. But I think we got <laughs> sidetracked. Um, when we first get to a country, what you have. Oh, to... sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. So when we go to a new country, the first thing. That we do is I I sit them down when we wake up in the morning, of course, the next day. So the first thing we do is we look at the flag of the country and we try to break down what the colors mean and stuff like that. Then the second thing is is we look at the um, national animal of the country. Then we look at the, the flower of the country. And then if we can find it, which we usually do, is we find the national anthem of uh, the country. Um, and then what happened is, is we look at the 10 top things to do in that country. And then Tam might go ahead and pick two of those 10 things that we can actually do yeah, together as a family. Yeah, depending on how long we're staying. I'm trying to think of something else. Uh, 
Oh, and then also we look at the main religion of that country. Yeah, just like the, the basic the population, statistics. You know, yeah, basic statistics and stuff like that. And, you know, language and, yeah. Learn hello. Yeah, and exactly. Thank definitely, you. Yeah. Those yeah. are our two. And good, sure and good morning. And good morning. Good morning is nice, yeah, but morning. we always know hello and thank you. Yeah, <laughs> hello and thank you. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. And that, that's basically it that we do for uh, world school and uh What do you do for math? School. They might ask more detail than what you actually so do. So with math, what I do is I used to use, uh, and sometimes They were getting I over for a little bit. <laughs> Makai called them out. <laughs> so they was doing this one app called Cool Math. They were okay? playing games. So Cool Math like, has two <laughs> sections. Screen There's time. like the games and the numbers. So the games is nothing but games. Okay? So if you're not like this on Taven's screen, what do you think she's doing? <laughs> <laughs> the games. So now I have them do the numbers, okay? They can do the numbers or what I would prefer for them to do, which we have been doing a couple of times, is basically math for whatever grade level that is. And it has multiplication, subtraction, division, you know, um, all those different problems. And sometimes I might write down 10 problems of my own on a sheet of paper and I hand it to them and they try to figure it out yeah. that way. Because math is something that you have to practice 24-7. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm just trying to think of what they might be like, wait, well, what about, I'm just trying to think of the questions that they might end up asking so we can make sure that they just get all the information. When we were in Europe, though, I would have to say horrible history. That oh, was yeah, they were so that. cool. Yeah. I loved it myself. I learned so show. much. Yeah. And then, oh, the other one on Netflix, I forgot. The Who Was Show. The Who Was Show is really good, very educational. That's basically history. It goes on to different um, figureheads and different icons in, in history. And the children dress up and portray that individual. Oh, so, sorry. pretty interesting, pretty cool. I've even learned some stuff just watching Who Was Show and Harvard History. Okay, then there was a couple things that we wanted to look into. You we were using the cards. We met an awesome family, yes, Tanya, yes. thank you, in yes. Cambodia right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the cards, which is from the beautiful, the, what is that called? Oh, I wrote it down, it's in my cell phone, I don't have it right now, it's over there. But it's the beautiful something. And beautiful it's, and something, something and beautiful. I know, it's, it's so easy. And beautiful learning, beautiful We'll minds. link it below, but she yeah. showed us, she had every, she Flashes. bought the program, she yeah, printed it all out, books. and it's all like, all based, well, she bought the literature program, mm -hmm. apparently there's a few different ones, like so science, afraid. history. And um, she bought the literature program, and she's been using it with her kids since they've been homeschooling, and she yeah. loves it. And it's um, it's like all really like books with good morals, mm -hmm. and she showed us the whole program that has like pictures and mm -hmm. assignment, like worksheets, and it wasn't that much, but it too. looked interesting. Yeah, it, it was a great prize. Yeah. So we're looking we're looking into doing something like that. We really like that one. The only problem was is that it's to print it all out. It's, yeah, it's. A little big and so we don't That's want to carry not that around cool for us with but traveling. we'll have to see what, how much of it we can do online i don't know but for if you're not traveling or you don't mind carrying some people they don't have a lot of stuff and they take That's cool true. stuff um so i will link that below to that that real name and then the website she recommended that she's loved best for reading is good to mention um eggs. i wrote that down too Why can't oh, we... learning eggs reading eggs reading eggs yeah reading, reading eggs, eggs. I haven't so that's a paid that one, time. but not. She said it was a good fee. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, I wrote it all on my cell phone shenanigans. On my the shenanigans. <laughs> on too? Yeah, they did. They. She, I told you it was a, a site that reads books to you. Oh, so yeah. we just learned about oh, these and haven't yeah. haven't started using Different them yet. But they sounded up. really great. Yeah. So I'll link all three below because mm -hmm. the other one I want to. I think she said it was like nine US a month. She thought, but the I wanted to look one, at right? the reading one. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be great, yeah. especially mm -hmm. for. Uh, Avon mm -hmm. Kingston. Yes, so yes. basically, there's a ton of books, and you can choose, and then it like highlights the word as it reads the book to mm -hmm. you. And she said that her kids have been using it a ton, and mm -hmm. they really like it. And they've gone through a lot of books. So yeah, there's so, stuff out there. There's a lot of I mean? stuff out there. And then we've used Khan Academy. Yeah. And then right now, I've been looking into. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. We did not come prepared to do that. That's horrible. We'll link everything. Look, is it called Out School? Awesome. There's two sites. They're homeschooling, basically like classes, like Skillshare. How oh, that's for mm. adults with different subjects of classes. 
there's two different ones that are classes like homeschool classes for kids and they're priced according to like i think the age the experience of the oh. teacher and then like you know once they start getting really popular they start charging more kind of thing mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you can find classes that are like five dollars a class like you can find really cheap ones but they have like ballet horse oh, riding even though it's all online i'm talking about yeah and then they have math science they have everything but then they have like i mean just really specific they have ones on morals they have one on meditation mm. i mean anything someone might be interested in teaching and they go there and list and get become a teacher or whatever i don't know what the See, requirements I don't know are what you're talking about this sounds all new to me i'm learning as you learn it yeah. sweet anyways so we can look in well yeah i had it's all things that we i've just been learning about and uh, that i thought i mentioned when we talked about the ballet briefly no no maybe you should term memory, so i don't know um <laughs> So anyways, we'll link all of it below, and then we would love for you to comment and let us know what you found that is awesome and that works great, mm -hmm. so that we can get some new stuff going. Yes, awesome. definitely. I mean, each one teach one in 14, 16, and more and more. All about education. Education. Mm -hmm. Educate them kids. <laughs> Do we miss anything? Probably. Yeah? Well, if we did miss anything, please comment below. and. If you can, subscribe. Let your friends tell your friends and we can all be friends. Yes, it helps us so much. You guys watching this video really helps our channel, number one. And leaving comments, it's great for, and we're not gonna lie, it does help our channel, but it just warms our heart. Like we love seeing who's actually out there watching. We love getting to engage with you. We love having conversations with you. We love answering questions. So please leave comments. And if you could subscribe and if you could share, just copy the link and send it to one person that might be interested or that this could help or on a Facebook page for travelers with families, anything like that, that would be an immense help to us. We would just totally appreciate it. All right. I think we're done. I think, I think so. Yeah. Our next not a vlog video will be later in March. We yes. realize this will probably get posted March 1st. Maybe. It's still it's still February 28th That's in the U.S. <laughs> we'll see how fast <laughs> I can get it up. Um, right now it's March 1st right. in, ta in Thailand. Right. So the next one though will be um, the third or fourth week of March and it will be on, I believe, how we plan our outings and our travels and, and all of that good mm -hmm. stuff. If there's other things that you want to really have us go in depth on and answer, um, just all in one video, then let us know. And mm -hmm. that will be April's or May's. Yeah, sure indeed. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. All right. We love you. Mahalo. All right. Happy travels. Later. Educate them kids. <laughs> <laughs>